Hi, everybody. Welcome to Hot Dads Podcast. Uh, it's Hot Dads with Maria and Gracie. I am Maria, the HBIC, just because it's my apartment uh, that we record in. And well, now what do we do? Because I'm Grace Hanen, usually RUB, usually runner up bitch. But now I'm recording because this is our first ever Riverside uh, yeah. virtual. So now what do we do? Because we're all in our, yeah. We're all in our respective places. Um, what about RB remote bitch in charge? RBIC. Yeah, RBIC works great. Okay, cool. Great. Awesome. We're co um, co if, RBICs. Co RBICs. Uh, you can find us at Hot Dads Pod on, on Instagram. Instagram. You yeah. can email us with gripes, complaints, dick pics, but not your dick pics at hotdadspod at gmail.com. You can find me. At Save Gracie Cannon, S A V E G R A C I E C A N A A N. Instagram, TikTok, don't worry about Twitter. I've been shadow banned. Where can they find you, Maria? You can find me at my first and last everywhere on the internet that you can find handles uh, at Maria Heinig, M A R I A H E I N E G G. And now let's go ahead and kick it off. Yeah, Gracie, anything else before we bring yeah. in? Yeah. The guest? No, our very fr- I'm so excited for this guest. Uh, he is a, an actor, comedian, uh, most notably and recently in Coming to America 2. Do I have the correct intel on that? Welcome, <laughs> welcome, Jermaine Fowler. Yeah. Hi. Hey, you two. <laughs> hey, hey, you hey. one. <laughs> What's you up? Doing, Where I love. Uh, we you love good? this background for you. I don't. I didn't know it was here until you said something. In fact, I wish you didn't tell me so I would watch the episode and got surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like a cult leader right now. It's great. Yeah, I want there to be a little flying saucer that comes in the back. <laughs> for those audio listeners, um, he's he's Jermaine's sitting in front of a very beautiful uh, photograph of Monument Valley. Um, and it just does not, it just does not go with the outfit, Monument which is Valley. a very right. polished turtleneck and a, and a powder blue blazer. Thank you. Um, I mean, first of all, I think it all goes together really nicely. I like right. the hand tattoo with the tan mm-hmm. turtleneck. Um, mm-hmm. I think it all, there we go. That's serve. Oh, serve. <laughs> little Look. model. Looks. <laughs> we forgot no, to no. add model. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Comedian. Yeah. Comedian, actor, model. Yeah, oh, oh. Have you ever actually legitimately modeled, like gone in and be like, we're going to photograph you in front of this golden retriever. Or, I don't oh, know. Whatever man, I have a weird sheets. story about that. I, <laughs> the closest I've ever come to actually modeling was being a, um, a, in a music video for um, Leon Bridges. That was the closest. I wasn't. Yeah, Ooh. they didn't need me just to. They just needed me to look moody. You know what I mean? That was it. Um, yeah. yeah. Did you do it? What What did you do to get in character? Ooh. Um. It was a story about this 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 couple who are going through a rut. So I just kind of uh, didn't do much uh, <laughs> to get prepared. Um, <laughs> I didn't do much. But I remember one time I was living in uh, Greenpoint or at Bushwick, but I was like uh, transferring. I think on the G train or something like that, a Lorimer or whatever stop. And this dude, uh, I walk out of the train, I was drunk. I walk out of the train and this dude, uh, uh, he watched me throw something in the trash can and he was walking his little cute little white dog or whatever. And he goes, um, hey man. I was like, yo. And he was like, uh, you ever think about being an underwear model? And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> I responded. The ultimate cat yeah, call. The I didn't ultimate. Really think it was because at the time it wasn't a thing. Like it was like, yeah, you know, <laughs> like, all right. He's complimenting me, but my response was all the no. time, and so <laughs> I, go, I go. Do I, you have any good braids? Dude, it was it was so strange. He walked me into uh, his house and uh, told me to take his shoe, take my shoes off. And it was by the way, it was like one o'clock in the morning, and so. You went to this dude's yeah. house? Jermaine, you are like... The difference between men and women, man. This that is male is, privilege. Um, this is so close. This is a Dahmer it, it, story. It, it, it's not happen. over yet. Yeah. Go on. It's not over yet. So I'm going to this dude's house, and um, uh, he told me to take my shoes off. And I was like, oh, of course, it's your home. So I took the shoes off, and he uh, he sat me down, and he was like, uh, you want some wine? I was like, I'm already drunk, but yeah, you got any white? And he gave me, he gave me, <laughs> he gave me some wine. And then he pulled out this binder, and uh, he's like, let me show you my models. And I'm like, oh, I can't wait to see your your models, buddy. And so he pulls out the binder, and he opens uh, the binder up, and he starts flipping the pages. 
of these uh, naked dudes. They were just naked. And uh, he was like, would you want to be one of these guys? And I was like, I mean, mm. you, you said there'd be underwear involved. Where's the underwear? <laughs> these are these guys are naked. <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> and he got offended at me and kicked me out of the house. <laughs> Oh my god. It's like, yeah, they're modeling to tell people that they need underwear. <laughs> like, obviously. It, it, this is an artistic photo as if to say, hey, who's thought yeah, of underwear? Wow, photo. that's a traumatic story. Yeah. This is yeah. you saying this is just all it's making me want to say back to you is Jermaine, Jermaine, Jermaine. Like Very just nice. it's so We no, don't want a victim no woman, blame. No woman would well, ever I mean, no, I just have that. <laughs> I take it back. Lots of women would do that. Yeah, I would do that for a good dry I mean, Pinot Grigio. You can... <laughs> Especially to... skin contact. Mmm, some, some skin to- contact Grigio. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you'd get your body. <laughs> How old were you? A skin suit for a skin uh, contact. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. I was 21 years old, man. I just moved to New York. So, oh, that was my, you know, it, okay. was, it was just a, it was an odd time to be on your own. Yeah, you, I'm I glad mean, I didn't yeah. move here until I was 25. Otherwise, I would have been eaten. Right. Well, like eaten like, by either like a person or like a subway right. monster. Well, I didn't. I didn't go to college, so I didn't have that like ex- that, that social sort of like sort of test that you have in college. Yeah. I didn't have that. I went right from doing comedy at 17 to then moving to New York. I didn't have that like you know, oh my god, uh, you know, this person's a creep or hey, this person's gonna do. This. You know, I didn't have that test. Yeah. Though. You know, I just kind of. Which you do get in in college. I mean, Most of my get... best friends we met because they asked me to underwear model, <laughs> and you know they're going to be my bridesmaids. So I get it, man. Yeah. I just want to be clear that you can get date raped in college too, Jermaine. You don't have to. You don't have to skip college okay. to learn. Oh, good, good, good. That's sure. Good. Uh, so yeah. You know what's alarming though is for your next story time. Is literally, how Jeffrey Dahmer like got dudes. To come to yeah, the man. Like, was. word for yeah, word. Uh, Except for the part where he kicked you out after you didn't want to be glasses. <laughs> I like the idea that more, yeah, glasses. more than like. <laughs> like, like, creep, like, creepy what kind? 70s glasses. You know, you know, every serial killer has those pairs of, but that, that, gla- that pair of glasses that looks like everyone, so like insane. Wayne Gacy had those glasses. Dahmer had those glasses. Yes. Bundy had those glasses. Yes. The same glasses. Yeah. You know, yeah. Jermaine. What? Jermaine, also, I love the idea. This is like an SNL character. I love the idea that it's like serial killer that's more dedicated to his artistic pursuits than he is towards killing someone. Like, like I love the idea that if you'd said like, yes, I love these photographs are beautiful, they'd be like, perfect, I'm going to kill you. But because you maybe insulted him, he's like, I don't need you. I'm going to like go work on I'm my craft. It it's like, dude, artist. what do you want to do? This serial killing shit. Yeah, like, like do you want to be a photographer or a serial killer? At some point you have to choose. Also, yeah, go ahead. God. No, I just said, I also, oh, my God. I like the idea of a guy who's <laughs> always kind of like, just always missing the serial killer, like always kind of like thinly <laughs> escaping a serial yes. killer just by the hair of his chin. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Just, ac- just accidentally not getting murdered over yeah. and over. I just told him I didn't like his art. Yeah. <laughs> that's the that's, that's the way to get out a lot of things, though. Like he's first like dates. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You just say I don't like your art, man. That's you told, amazing. You told me you told that rapper, didn't you? Make him leave after you. <gasps> yes, I made him leave. This is something that I will keep repeating on multiple episodes because I just love to see the look of horror. Um, I so basically saw this rapper and I wasn't feeling it anyway, but I was really trying to be a hoe. I was like, yes, I'm going to be a hoe. I'm going to like have sex with people that I did. It didn't take. I'm not a hoe. I'm very, very soft lady. But afterwards, he forced me to tell him a joke, which speaking of assault, already, already that's red flag. it. Honestly, you would rather already get red flag. killed. Yeah. Did, For sure. Get yeah. Killed than have to tell a joke. Then or, it was very close. Like, then I to told you. him finally, begrudgingly, then he gave me notes and then just when I was like, I can't take this anymore, he whips out his phone and starts playing his own beats in bed while I'm naked and like grooving out to them. And I'm like, here, and it was just, I was like, and then I didn't have sex for 10 months after that. Wow. Yeah. Why did you tell him the joke, by the way? 
Because it was like, I had nowhere to go. I was like <laughs> naked in bed and I was like, I don't really want to. And he's like, come on. And I'm like, don't, I don't want, he's like, do it. And I'm like, oh, fine. If You're this not will a just trick get monkey. Me. Like, We're not it trick didn't, monkeys. It didn't, it didn't. It didn't occur to me that it could get worse than that to the point where he would then provide notes. Wow. So I didn't. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Um, That's a red You know, we all carry our way. trauma. Yeah. Just anyone asking me in yeah. general to tell the joke, like I just walk away. So I was. Oh yeah. God. What do you have a line for this yet? A what? Like a like a locked and loaded line when someone tells you to tell a joke, Maria. You have a pretty good one, I right? Know. I just. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's yours, Maria? It's, I mean, it's very basic. Someone just goes, tell me a joke. And I'm like, okay, knock, knock. And they're, you know, knock, knock. 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 Who's there? No, you no. say it. You say knock. <laughs> oh my God. We're comedians and we don't even know how to do this. Basic joke. Comedian no 101. Let's do it. Um, knock, knock. Knock, oh, knock. who's there? No, oh, I say Who's it. there? <laughs> this is, this is painful. <laughs> this is the Jermaine is wildly successful. This is, wildly this successful is comedian and actor. <laughs> wait until wait until uh, level two where it's we try to teach you your mom a joke. Wait, that really things spiral out of control. All right. Who's up? Okay, <laughs> we're gonna do it. I'm. Re I'm Maria gonna and start. I are gonna act it out. I'm gonna say knock knock, and you guys are gonna say who's okay. there. Okay. Okay. And this Got is in a it. scenario Ready? where they're like, "Oh, you were a comedian. Tell me okay. a joke." Yeah. And I'm like, "Knock okay. knock. Who's there? Who's there? Fuck you." <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. It's like it's creative. It's succinct. It's to the point. It's not too fussy. You know, it's not too clever. You know, I just, you gotta, word economy is really important in comedy. Yes, it, so. is. it really is. I just kind of say yeah. no. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so like you've been yes. doing comedy Cause then they think since, say yes to life. Oh, wait, no, wait, Grace, You've been doing Grace, comedy Grace. since. Real quick, just real quick. Oh, yeah, back up. Oh, you okay. You told him the we joke should, in the yeah. hopes that it would get you some? Is that why you did the joke? No, no, no. We had already slept oh, together. Right. So okay. this was okay. post-coital, okay. which is even, I'm vulnerable. I'm more, so it's like, I wasn't, I was just doing it so he would like leave me alone. Okay, never mind. You know, I'd be like, let's breeze through yeah. this. And and no, it yielded so about three to five minutes. Of, then. The sex was, you it said, was so not the- leave me alone. Like that's So not... he'd leave me alone. Well, so he'd leave me alone about oh. the joke. Oh, like we sense. were like- okay. The, the sex was one of those things. Have you ever had sex with someone and like you're like you're objectively hot and you know what you're doing, but your personality is making this unbearable? You know, you're like, if yeah. you just didn't say anything and didn't look at me, this would be like, didn't you look know, at me? Uh, yeah, like a, yeah. But it's just you. Yeah. No, never. But you're like, but you're objectively hot. And like, this isn't the worst. I feel like. But then you'll just say something that's like. Well, That's me moonwalking out of sex. I, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm like, what is this? Um, yeah, I, yeah. Would, I would say in general, like if they're not if they're not funny and interesting, yeah. like it doesn't matter how hot they are. Yeah. Like, I, I know. I, I was trying to again. This was during my very 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 brief hoe phase where I was like, I don't need personal connection. I'm a Samantha. I'm not a Samantha. I'm a, I'm a Steve man. I just want to sit at home with my t-shirts and be like Miranda. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's okay. it. So you're looking that's for your it. Miranda. Okay, noted. I'm looking for my just bossy gay sugar mama. <laughs> yeah. Aren't we all? Aren't yeah. we all? Yeah. But I did want to get back to to asking actual life questions, yeah. which feel free. We can go back to this rapper thing at any any given okay. moment. Um <laughs> so you've been doing comedy since you were what you said 17, 18. Yeah. Was it like uh, di like a calculated decision to do that instead of going to college, Man. or were you like, I just don't? It, I so I've been wanting to do. I've always been fascinated with stand up since I was, and comedy in general since I was a kid, right? And then um, I got in. I used to be like a, uh, you know, a pretty good student, like a B plus student, uh, from middle school to probably um, high school, uh, from like maybe ninth mm -hmm. to. 10th grade or sophomore right so I remember um but I was always, I always getting in trouble because I was always kind of mischievous and just pranky and like just I was very uh pranky. I was pranky um pranky pranky, you know, pranky, pranky. Boy. um but I just <laughs> I didn't really like teachers I didn't like being told what to do 
anyway, um, it wasn't until maybe like uh, 11th grade or maybe uh, summer going to senior year that I figured out I wanted to do stand up, right? So it happened when I realized I, I wasn't going to college. I didn't have any money for college and uh, no one was accepting my, um, what do you call them, my essays or anything. Yeah, none of it. Like, I write my essays, and, you know, I remember just, like, I was crying one day. Like, my dad uh, caught me crying in my room right when I was in the middle of an essay, and uh, he said, why are you crying? And I was like, because no one's going to take my, my, accept me. Because no one likes me. It was the saddest fucking thing. Dude, uh, as someone who graduated with 200K in loans, like, I am so jealous of that. Yeah. Like, you dodged, a you dodged, like, a grenade. Yeah. So, which is probably something you realize. Yeah, but if I went to college, quickly. I wouldn't have been that the, the underwear model dude house. You know, like I should have gone to college. So I would, yeah, you know? yeah, you wouldn't have almost got yeah. murdered. You sacrificed multiple things, times. You know? um, yeah, like including your yeah, your yeah. life, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> including your actual <laughs> livelihood. Oh my god! I don't know. Again, I don't know if college makes you smart like oh. that. I think you're still. I think you're still life oh, yeah, dumb. Yeah. When you graduate college. I, listen, this is the reason why a lot of people have a tough time uh, finding jobs after college. Like, you just are, you expect a certain thing when you leave it. But, like, I think I definitely got a little, you know, I got a head start as far as, like, you know, learning how to work a room <clears throat> and doing stand-up. Like, I was always good in the room, mm -hmm. so that helped. But um, I remember uh, I I just I had, a, had, a, had a breakdown filling out this this college application and my dad had a breakdown too with me and we were just like you ain't going to college i'm like i ain't going to college but that helped because it made me realize what's next to do all right let me find a job and let me figure out what i want to do and then my neighbor <clears throat> who lived down the hall from me in this gigantic apartment complex in maryland uh he gave me this um eddie murphy raw vhs tape and i watched that tape oh my god yeah. um, that tape changed like my my life trajectory right so I watched that maybe three times a day. It was the first comedian that I, I kind of felt like, oh shit, I those are all I love all these jokes, and he kind of you know just speaks to me. So, <clears throat> and I'm at, I'm up to that point like I was in the Martin and Bernie and like D L Hughes, everybody, right? But I didn't go to the '80s. Like I, w I was always like from '90 like something to like the 2000s. So Chappelle, mm, especially yeah. like. Wait, so yeah, the knowing thing. that, that's even more nuts. Like flash forward to you actually working with Eddie Murphy, what? How mind blowing was that? Because it's like obviously you get starstruck when you work with anyone that big, but it's like when you're working with the person who inspired your career. That's like, how do you keep it the fuck together? It was a. Uh, it was. Uh, what do you, What do you say? You know, uh, it just. Uh, there's so many yeah. cliche buzzwordy words you can use for this that moment, but. We love that it's here. It's true though. Like it was, it was, it was fucking crazy. It was um, to just be next to that dude, like the the person that, um, yeah, like truly. And it, it wasn't just like Eddie and this person or Eddie and this other. person. It was like no, it was Eddie Murphy. Like he was like the person that made me want to do this shit. So, you know, uh, I, he also was a he's like the, the best actor. So like that was another reason why I wanted to do stand up because I wanted also have that lead to an acting career. Um, so I, um, I I was 17, I uh, would go to these bars and these uh, these comedy clubs that uh, I couldn't drink at or anything. They would like kick me out as soon as I was done with the shows. People had to drive me home. A partner on Charla, she was, um, she used to drive me home all the time. Uh, she was from Virginia. Um, Roy Scoville was another motherfucker. Like I, all these, Seton Smith, like all these amazing comics that I started with, um, you know, who I still talk to today and still look up to today. They, um, they, uh, they helped me out when I was first starting. So it was, um, it wasn't easy though. Like it wasn't an easy journey at all, like at all. Cause no one believed in me. I was super stubborn and I had to be, cause if I wasn't, I would have just quit and gone, you know, I had to work at a, at, at the mall for the rest of my life or something. And <laughs> Hey, there's nothing wrong with working at the mall. I worked mm -hmm. at the mall. I worked at uh, a Photoshop. But did you work at a kiosk? That's no, not the a question. Kiosk. I at a, you worked at a Photoshop? Remember the, you know those Photoshops? Like the high school kids would show up at and take like photos of the backdrop behind them and shit? Like oh the ghetto God. joke? Like the ghetto yes. Photoshop? That was me. Like, I used to work yeah. at that motherfucker. So that was my shit. And um, none, mm -hmm. again, nothing wrong with Have working you thought about retail, for, you know, and none, nothing wrong with that at all. But it wasn't for me. 
I was a terrible, terrible yeah. coworker. I was a terrible, just like I, I, I was always late. I, you know, I'm, I'm always late to this podcast. You know, I'm late yeah, to everything. Dude. <laughs> I'm late to everything too. Yeah, but so, late, no it's like a signature thing in this industry. You know what I mean? Like if you've, if you're established, especially in entertainment, I feel like it's like an expected thing that people are, but it's like, I was always like the simpler a task was or the simpler a job was, the, the worse I was <laughs> at it. Like when I worked at Jamba Juice or like the movie theater, I just had like no common I, sense. And then, but if it was something like a complex project there. or like creating a film or something, I was like, I get, yeah. Yeah, no, it, you, yeah. yeah I, I wasn't, not that I didn't love Strawberries <laughs> Wild, but you know, it wasn't, I wouldn't say it was my passion. No, but when they're paying you. I wouldn't say it was my passion. When they're paying you money that you need to keep your damn, you know, living going, lights yeah, lights on, on whatever, like, yeah. you kind of got to show up on time. And I just couldn't do it. Like, I just couldn't. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I could not do that. So. Um, I, I moved to New York and I met Maria probably two years in. What are you doing, Maria? <laughs> I'm fixing oh, my light. I'm just, yeah, she's, I'm showing showing off her, she's showing off her cool ass shirt. Don't you want to look at more of my shirt? <laughs> it's a dope shirt. Um, but no, we all like Maria. You know? It blows my mind how many people you know. Ooh, Maria? Yeah, like it. It. I don't know why because I don't like it's like you, you scooped me up. And now you have like this whole network of people that you started with. And every time I, I oh, find well, out that you're good friends Jermaine, with someone, I'm like, what? Jermaine started way before me. He he just, he moved, yeah. he met me once he moved I, to New York. I've heard of Maria because of Kevin Barnett. He, he loved her butt. I remember like he would always talk about how <laughs> amazing Maria is. <laughs> Rest in peace, Kevin. But like, dude, honestly, use it. It's like that's that's something where it's like, are women at a disadvantage? You know, it's like if we have our butts instead of our personalities. No, I think even tails, every Listen, even yeah. tables, everyone stop complaining. Listen, comedy. That's a great TED com- talk. Com- comedian since back in the day, <laughs> we notoriously have terrible bodies and stuff. So when you when you meet a comedian who loves their body, takes care of it, and is funny, like it's like, oh, we can be pretty and handsome yeah. and all these things, like. Stop it's it. true. Stop and Maria goes, no, it. just I me. Back off. Know, when Louis C.K. came Stop out, it, it just became cool to be a slob. You know what I mean? Like, it was like you you could wear the <laughs> shittiest yeah. things, say the shittiest things, because people wanted to be like Louis when he first came out. Like, they wanted to say the worst things they could. They would just try to, like, without the substance or the or the funniness at all. But they just saw the, the thing on the surface, you know? And yeah. then... Well, I think they were just excited that they could look gross, but do the thing exactly. they wanted to do. Um, hey, you know, that's whatever. I feel yeah. that. So I'm not sure, like... I um, feel that. Oh. I never met, like, uh, there were, like, very, like, I know we're going off, you know, topic, but, like, yeah, meeting a comic who, like, also is, like, talented, but also, like, kind of, like, is hot, is, you know... <laughs> it was fucking like, hot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, oh, okay. You guys were bonded. I mean, you gotta, happens, you gotta stay in your caliber. You can't it's be hanging out with any uggos. Though. It's super skeptical. Like when someone's like attractive and talented, you're like, "What's your fucking yeah. deal?" Who, did your dad like, hit you? What, what, tell me something. Why are you doing this? <laughs> what happened? It's always yeah, yes. Me. No, yeah, it's always that you sucks. were a fucking loser in middle school. That's what it was. It's always that you were a little dweeb and no one wanted to fuck you, so you had to develop a personality. And then you hit nineteen or twenty and you learn how to use the mascara, and then you're like, "Oh, boom! I got this personality and I'm hot." I, <laughs> okay, I started. For the wrong reasons, because uh, I had a bunch of brothers and sisters, or whatever, and you know I wasn't, I wasn't paid attention enough to, you know. So I, I just, I just felt like I would act out in school, though. That's that was my audience. So then I found out about this yeah. comedy thing, and I was like, oh, this is perfect. But then I got kids, and I realized, oh, none of this matters. Like this is so high school and stupid. I, I, I remembered like. Uh, I used to hang out after shows all the time, and now I just want to go home and hang out with, you know, the kids now and shit. So it just kind of changes, too. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Well, first of all, you have kids, and that's like a j- get-out-of-jail-free card. I have tried with my cat. It does not have the same with effect. With who, though? No. And second of all, I do think... the cat thing. Like, you get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get <laughs> it. So I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be like, I'm sorry. She's just fuzzy and won't interact with me too much. Like, this is what I need. <laughs> Uh, but also I think when you're established enough, um, you can, you have like the well-deserved luxury of piecing the fuck out, but I'm still learning that it's like, you have to, you know, sit and, and hang and whatever. But, um, 
I do, I feel like this dovetails into a, a good segment of our uh, show that we, we usually have two of, which it's, I have a two part question. So one, our question is always, how do you stay hot? And that can mean anything to you. It can mean like physical hotness. It can mean hot? like we've gotten people that say confidence. And second it? of all, Tell I want to know. So that's part A, how do you stay hot? Part B is that I'm just throwing in there is as it pertains to comedy. Like for example, this is just my brand. I know that if I look too made up or too like pretty on stage, my jo- whether it's my mental hurdle or the way the audience perceives me, my self-deprecating jokes just won't land as much. Do you think, so A, what do you do to stay hot? And B, what do you think about um, do attractiveness in the, sc- in the scope of being funny? So- on it stage. kind of goes back to what we were talking about, about hanging out, right? So um, you said that at a certain level in your career, you don't have to hang out anymore. However, we, 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 stand-up comedy and comedians in general are very neurotic. So if you don't hang out, it yeah. makes them think that they did something wrong or they're not cool enough or where they're at isn't that cool. So <laughs> It's so, so everyone, yes, every single so person. I would say, leave like just go and because they'll think that you're too busy and that you're working or something nobody oh, wants to has a fucking power work, right? no one wants to be around a person who doesn't who can't give them yeah anything. so the more you leave the more you don't hang out i think it would behoove you to do that so i would say do yeah. it because there's nothing more attractive than i'm also always carrying around my laptop, laptop. Just, i'm just be always carrying around my laptop. laptop i look like a fucking <laughs> It's yeah, off. It's all, I'm just, yeah. I'm just it's petting, broken. stroking yeah. the keyboard. The screen is fucked up. It's, cl- it's like closed. <laughs> it's closed, but she's still pretending to type. <laughs> she's at the top of it. I'm very busy. Yeah. But no, nothing is more. Or she holds nothing it. Nothing more attractive. She than holds it. She's like someone who, uh, who doesn't need the person. Like if you, if you, if you don't, if you act like at least pretend like you don't need the thing. It's just so sexy. It's just so like attractive. But are still nice. School. You're like nice, cordial. But yeah, you I was a I was bottom of the food chain. The more in high you school. need it, the more you or, or the more it's perceived that you might need someone or something or a goal. It just you mm-hmm. just come off like a psycho or like a or, or just like yeah. thirsty. Yeah, thirsty. thirsty. No one wants thirsty. law of attraction. But you're a woman, you know that. You know what I mean? Like you know that it's just like it's yeah. just naturally. So take that and and kind of use that for um, you know social standings in comedy man i'd say yeah leave. don't hang out as much as you can <laughs> i i have been doing that and then i've been talking to comics and they're like especially this guy I was on the road with um colin chamberlain awesome mm-hmm. comic fr- friend mm-hmm. of the pod um but That's he was on. like you know it's it's really good to just like he was telling and i've heard this from a lot of male comics where they're like yeah i just hang out huh? with sorry i'm so sorry maria we're going to steer this away huh? from an industry podcast very <laughs> soon <laughs> she's like why you literally just we have people on and then i turn it into like gracie's personal we've like had, we've had one mentor. conversation where i'm like where i'm like don't ask them for branding advice okay <laughs> like, this is <laughs> i was like we want people to listen to this podcast because it's funny it and the not because they can yeah. how to be a stand-up comedian. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna push okay. it. Like I'm gonna. Let's I'm gonna it. push it back to staying hot in mm-hmm. general. I'm. I'm. I'm rowing away. Proverbial. I like to work in Harry Potter and boat analogies into this podcast. So we're rowing away from the comedy talk and we're rowing into the hotness talk. Hot. How do you stay hot? In whatever. And context is it what you mean? just said? Yeah. Is it what you just said, which is being nice but aloof? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I would say don't be needy, especially. Yeah. Don't. No one wants to be around. That. It's, it's so hot when you can just not need the thing or act like you don't need the thing. Yeah. Or be cool about it. You know what I'm saying? Just be chill about it. Um, act like you've been yeah, there before, man, as uh, they say. Uh, even if you have it. I like it, you know. I think that is really. So does this mean? Do, does this mean I should stop asking Maria after every single recording, "Mommy, did I do a good job?" <laughs> <laughs> or does that mean? Or, or is that? I wish separate? that she were joking. That is so sweet. No, 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 no. I'm not. I go tell me everything that's wrong with me, and Maria's like, I can't handle this right now, and I'm like, show she everything, goes, and she's she like, go. 
She's like, do you have do any, any feedback? feedback for me? And I'm like, no. Mm -hmm. That is, and she keeps asking. <laughs> I'm like, do you want me to leave? So she keeps saying no. Every time. I'll ask after this one, too. Her. Don't mm -hmm. ask anymore. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And trust me, Maria's going to start giving you yeah. the best advice. Because <laughs> she wants to talk. <laughs> She's like, do you want to talk? <laughs> You're going to be like, I'm good. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Like, I'm also very I just don't direct. Act. <laughs> like, if I have a problem yeah. with something, like, I'll just tell you. Like, you don't have to wonder. That's, yeah. That's You're the perfect mix of, like, direct and nurturing. Yeah. You really are. You're like, I'm going to say something that's no bullshit, but you're still going to somehow feel good right. about it. It's a very rare quality. Do y'all hang out outside well, of the podcast? Well, yeah. that's probably yin and yang. Yeah, thing. we do now. She loves you and you love her. It's kind of the opposite yes. attract sort of thing. Yeah. As much as you probably get neurotic about like, yeah. oh, God, I remember, Maria hates me and I ask too many questions. She loves you. I'm sure she just loves the <laughs> Maria loves me. We love each other. Yeah. Yeah. We have a good We have a good thing going on. <laughs> yeah. We have a good thing going on. Now we all have a good thing going on. You're actually a new co-host of this oh, podcast. Cool. Yeah, Hope you're still that. We're springing on you. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is the thruple now. So it's going to be a yeah. lot once we have guests on because it's going to be the three of us yeah. just talking oh, over them. So that's... that'll be great. It's going to be like that game Sardines where every time so someone, one person starts hiding and then people keep joining them and joining them. So by episode 47, we'll have like 19 hosts, I think. Uh, I've done that. Me and my manager will like call our mutual friends on FaceTime and see who will pick up and just keep adding people to the group FaceTime, the blocks, you know. <laughs> it's so fun. It's so much fun. How many can you fit? What's the max you can know. fit on We've there? We've done at least five one time. Yeah. Nice. I oh, I'm you talking. Can you can do oh, yeah. Damn, that's fun. I like that. A little Brady I'm Bunch. I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to loop in people in. Maria, do you have something to ask Jermaine? Uh, Jermaine. Since he is a hot dad, this is yeah, an asterisk are, podcast. You're only the second that you're only the second you're dad the that we've had on the podcast. We did have mm -hmm. a comedian whose government name is Daddy on the Jordan podcast, Carlos? Um, but you're, um, it, no, Daddy uh, Ramanzani, and then the that's a oh, real I person. That was a joke. Uh, mm -hmm. He's a no. delight. Highly recommend. And then no, we had uh, we had Mike Cannon. Mike got, got a kid. Son. Oh, yeah, I'm hitting him up on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Like he's like two or really? three. Yep. I, uh, I've been hitting yep. up all a my pandemic, uh, baby. brand new parent comedian friend. You know what I mean? Like the brand new uh, comedians who've got yeah. kids now, and like just tell them congratulations. Ashley uh, Roberts. Yeah. And, no, no. Um, God damn it, that's my other friend. What's that? Damn it, she has three names. God damn it, I feel like an idiot. Ashley Brooke. Um, it's oh, not Ashley Austin. You mean Amy Rose it? Ranger? No, no. I'll, I'll remember. She has remember. a kid. But anyway, it's so cool to see a bunch She's of comics just kind of just like pump out kids now. Yeah. They all got the beards and like they, they look Oof. so happy. Oh, and no. like, like Mike Mike Lawrence, like, oh man, it's so pretty. Oh man. Yeah. It happens. They look yeah. happy because you guys are all sleep deprived. It's true. You look happy yeah, but... because it's just zany. You don't know where you are. It's but delirium. Jermaine's... But it is but... still happy. But Jermaine's kids aren't babies. Jermaine, how old five. are your kids? Yeah. Two and five. Yeah. So, I mean, two is like right on the cusp of being like a human being you'd be surprised he uh he just learned how to say hungry you know which i think is it's fine but you know he, he, you know he knows hungry daddy and mommy it's very cute uh that is yeah he'll go hungry. the only things you really need in your entire yeah, life those, to know oh, that's a great especially for learn. grace yeah mommy that's and hungry yeah. yeah mommy maria hungry yeah 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 <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah <laughs> I thought you were telling me, me like for a half second I wasn't paying the right amount of attention. I was like, oh my God, Jermaine's son knows how to say my name. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, he's just he's just acknowledging our very real relationship, our very accurate relationship. Yeah. Unfortunately I'm not lactating, but other than that, I'm <laughs> I'm great at being your mom. Unfortunately, man, would that be an angle for comedy? <laughs> The oh yeah, I'm uh, I am a white woman, but there's twists, which is that I'm, I'm lactating half the Virgin Mary. I lactate you, without pregnancy. You're not that's you're an white, angle. Don't you try to steal? Oh no, she's oh, talking about okay. me. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm half white. I'm halfy. Which you know, you know, you know, because you know my cousin who is also halfy, and you were at my birthday party. Me. 
Oh, I don't know if you yeah. remember. You were at you were oh, at no, my no. birthday party. I'm just remembering. Yeah, yeah, but I don't even think we talked. I think we maybe no, just like said hi, and things were so weird. Yes, it yeah, was at was, that point. Like there was a couple. There were like a couple people views. that tagged along from the bar. Yeah, and I didn't realize it because like I was pretty chill and sober. And then I looked over, and there was one insane guy who was squirting everyone with a squirt gun, and then two other people that were just making out. And I was like, "It's time for everyone to go home now." It's I don't. It's think... so you you really showed up and saw the the dregs. I missed the squirt gun. Nobody squirt gunned me, and they yeah. should be grateful that they didn't. Cause yeah, they we want to. Oh really yeah, home. absolutely. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, he was an yeah. absolute psycho. But did did yeah. I answer your question about the yeah. hottie stuff? About the hot? Yeah, uh, I, think I think so. I like we get don't be needy, right? You said don't be. It's an attitude so thing. Yeah, you which answer. which uh, translates to like self assuredness. Assuredness. I mean, you got to be confident in yourself, so you don't need uh, yeah know, the gratification yeah. of other. Yeah, of course, man. Yes. We actually get that a lot. We get that a lot from dudes too. I think because A, like you guys have to be, I don't know. I feel like you have been raised more in society to be more confident. You guys are losers. So you better, you better figure out your confidence. (laughs) Otherwise men are dumb. Lie to yourself. And then also like women have a plethora. We have like a, we have like a cornucopia of beauty products well, and like external I, things to pick from. I had from. no confidence growing up. So I had the confidence to be myself, but it yeah. wasn't, it wasn't cute or like, you know, I wasn't wanted. Endearing. You know, like it wasn't a desirable, I yeah. wasn't a desirable yeah. person when I was growing up. You know, like I just wasn't. I remember I just felt like an outcast when I was yeah. a kid. I think, I feel like, I'm not saying that that's like not specific to you, but I mean, that's so many kids right like that's like i wasn't i wasn't popular yeah. at all like i had like no comedian was popular were, no there are comedians that were popular like they would never admit it but you know that there's yeah, yeah. but the, I, I just there was a yeah, there was I a guess. pattern with the popular people in my school i think it depends on your school too like I, I went to a pretty hood school so when you when you when you peak at that age you're just done you know like the some of the some of the the, the females in the school who developed faster than a lot of the other girls, they were super popular, but then that was it for them. They would get pregnant super early and they would, then it'd be forgotten about, you know? Well, yeah. Cause you're like, what else is there? And then for us nerds, they were like, there's gotta yeah. be more. <laughs> and there was, and that's how you ended up <laughs> drinking white wine in De- Jeffrey Dahmer's twins brother's gotta, basement. Yeah. There I was more. The he, I must yeah. Know what's going on with him yeah um, yeah man yeah exactly you could you could change his career now <laughs> could do a documentary you know if you could you'd be oh you'd God. be his just, big break i love the idea that he thought that you being like hey what if we did this in my underwear instead of nude was like somehow a yeah. limiter for him it's like if you get him down to his underwear like you either you have game or you don't have game like you'll either he make it try. he was just like oh yeah <laughs> yeah he just gave up. I'm just disappointed in him. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, I feel like he yeah. really could have been somebody. And he, he was just probably having a bad late. day. Maybe he got rejected from a gallery yeah. that day, too. You know, mm-hmm. he showed up and with his little portfolio, and they were like, you don't have what it takes, they, kid. So we were talking about tasteful nudes on our last episode. Mm-hmm. Were mm-hmm. they, um, like... Were they artistic pictures or were they just like this guy takes pictures of? They were naked they were dudes. pretty artistic. They just weren't for me. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. it wasn't your style. <laughs> you weren't going to be a client of his. Uh, yeah, you know, for sure. Yeah, for, for what he did, he was very talented. He was like one of those like old school Soho sort yeah. of like uh, Andy Warhol yes. looking dudes who just like you know had a loft yeah. and you mm-hmm. know just like you know one of those dudes. stacks of papers yeah. Yeah, around. Yeah, he was that dude. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was I, yeah, I was curious about the quality of the work that his It was good. It was good. I just I just can't, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh nah. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. Uh-uh. I had Mm-mm. nudes Mm-mm. taken or semi nudes no, 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 no. taken no, no, no. of me, but it was for a business opportunity. Can I say hi to my friend real quick? That sounds sketchy. No. Yeah. Yes, um, bring um, your friend um, on here. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh my god, that's 
Hello. Hi. Sorry to. Hi. Hi. She had to drop off some stuff. And I want her to say hi. No, that's guys. fine. Hi. That's Maria. That's, cool. that's fantastic. Hi, Anna. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Anna. What are you guys talking about? He what is the about? best. We're, we're at the moment about... we're talking about artistic nude photos. Artistic and how photos? Jermaine was also nude. Ki- nude. naked. Nude. nude. Perfect. Yeah. Nude. And how J- Jermaine was almost Jeffrey Dahmer when he was 21 <laughs> at, by a, a guy enticing him to, to take nude photos. Oh, wow. And he made it out of there. No, it didn't happen. A guy asked him to take photos in his underwear, and he was like, cool. And he went over to his apartment, and then the guy showed him mm-hmm. the pictures, and the guys were completely naked. And he's like, where's the underwear? And the guy got mad and kicked him out. <laughs> okay, well, at least he got kicked out. I got X-Games, yeah. It was a, it yeah, was a very yeah. treacherous. If he had said, I love them, if he had complimented his art, there would be no Jermaine. Yeah, no. So no, at least at least all. you've got good taste. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yep, Thank yeah. God. <laughs> That's Honestly. crazy. <laughs> that, we probably all have. That's what they say. No, that's what she said. That's I what she totally said. relate <laughs> to that. Yep. Yep. We were just talking about that. <laughs> Dude, um, I uh, I've known Anna since we did we filmed the movie in Mexico, and uh, she's been like the coolest. Like I was gonna say, huge fan. Yeah. So thanks. Yeah, she's been amazing. Yes, you're amazing. It was so yeah. fun yeah. doing it with you. Me too, man. Obsessed, obsessed with Pen. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. I love yeah, that you guys were talking awesome. about um, <laughs> artistic naked photos, and I was just talking about Real Housewives. <laughs> 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 This is what we try to keep it. We try to keep this an opinion free zone. No hot takes, no opinions. That's we like to keep it fluffy. At all. She's making that I know. up. That's like, there's nothing I, about that as accurate. No, and then you get she wants no to politics. Live. Is that the vibe? Got yeah. It. I love yeah. that. <laughs> yes. 100%. We ask people candid questions and then we shame them. You should be a guest. I would love to. Honestly, you should ask. That's my, actually, my MO. <laughs> Is telling a truthful story and then yeah. feeling like shit afterwards. Questioning yourself like, why? Yeah, why that's my I kink. That? I do that all the time. Like this story. I'm going to get home and you're going to feel stupid, deep shame. Stupid. But then I hope you feel great because everyone's going to relate. Or maybe everyone. That's, I don't know. Oh my God. Yeah. Everyone. Everyone. I mean, that's what I, I mean, that's everyone in this. I but it's so great when somebody else does it because you're like, oh, you're an idiot too. It's great. It's, it's exactly. exactly. Yeah, what man, this could happen to anybody, right? Right, y'all? We're, We're all idiots. Yes. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I had a weird hire. I like wanted to make money. I love that I'm just bombing your. No, sorry, serious though. I love this. Um, sit down. We love it. I had a weird. Yeah, I yeah. Was, take up a chair. Tell us your deepest, darkest yeah. secret. <laughs> 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 I for Halloween one year I was in college and my boyfriend at the time loved food and I had no money and I was like I'm going to take him to a fine dining restaurant he's going to fall in love with me and so I looked for a Halloween job on Craigslist where I was like I'll be a vampire whatever like I just need a few hundred dollars and I ended I'll up I'll be a vampire, a, a, few, vampire. a few hundred dollars <laughs> I'll be a vampire. <laughs> like, that's your solve for going to an expensive dinner. It's You're sexy. Like, I'll be a right. I know. That's insane. I was just like, ghost, whatever, like, kids' party needs someone. Like, I'm, this is, I need him to love me. Anyway, and then I got hired at this, like, socialites party and ended up <gasps> doing a crazy prank that I haven't talked a lot about, but basically, I ended up with like fake Coke on the floor and blood coming out of my nose as though I was passed out to prank this person, which I feel- That you were trying to get to fall in love about. with you. Okay, no, no, no. So the part, the woman that, <laughs> okay. the woman that hired me wanted to prank this guy at her Halloween party. And oh, I was the hired gotcha. person okay. to do that. And I was- I thought you were just scaring your employers like for fun. And I was like, you're not going to get paid. <laughs> Sorry, I told yeah, that story. I first, love this. But, no, um, what the fuck? How no, I actually, I think you told it perfectly because our imaginations ran upset? wild. I think it was what a happened? perfect way to tell the story. What he, happened? I heard him say, let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible person. Yeah. That's a terrible person. And then the other hired wild. convinced him to stay. <laughs> and then I disappeared and he took the host of the party who had hired me into the bathroom to say she was just there that was her blood that's her blood and the 
the birthday, I mean the birthday party, the Halloween like host was like, what are you talking about? You're going insane. It was so <laughs> messed up. <laughs> I regret it for sure. Remember that show, Scare Tactics? Oh, no. And that was your big break. That was my big yeah, break. Yeah, I do remember oh that. Oh my god! Or scared. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. How much did you make? A That's lot when of you money. knew she made a lot of money. Had the she made the dinner money. Yeah, yeah. And then you took him out, and you're like, "Guess what I had to do to make this?" Happen? <laughs> no, I don't remember telling him that. I'm sure I told him, but he was very like by the book. Oh. I'm sure he would have. Mm-hmm. He went to West Point. Too so much information. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder yeah. if you did tell him then, because that would have been a really hard story to tell someone like who's like, I'm at Definitely. West Point. And I like fold my bed in half every morning. Yeah, like, and he got mad. I, I remember he got mad at me once because I ate a weed brownie. So I imagine, not mad at me, but he was like, "Are you sure you want to, you yeah. know, do that?" Anyway, I completely oh, hijacked no, 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 this. I'll see you later. You gotta go. I adore you. Like, I'll see you soon. Definitely gonna rip right. Thank you so much for stopping by. She's great. What a delight. She's dope. Yeah. 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 She's awesome, man. Yeah. Um. So my next interview is starting right now. Oh and... shit! <laughs> I that was a great I mean, way to finish. It was a great way to finish. Hold yeah. On. Should we do it? some? What time is it? My phone. It is two oh six p.m. Your time. I gotta do my interview. It's supposed to be at two o'clock. Okay. I'm sorry. All right, Jermaine. Oh, let's thank do some so quick plugs. Well, he's gonna. Dad. He's gonna. Yeah, Jermaine, it was a pleasure you, talking to you. Fun. So excited to you. You're an inspiration. And a, and a, Thanks. you're an inspiration and a muse. Sorry, that was so weird, but we'll talk <laughs> later. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. I'll talk to you soon. Let me know when it comes time. out. Is that the <laughs>